In this video, we're going to look at how we can solve linear equations that have fractions for coefficients. As we do, we want to remember that our ultimate goal is to find out what value the variable is representing. What does that x represent? It represents some number, and we're going to attempt to find that number. Well, with fractions, that can become kind of tricky because we've got to worry about common denominators and how we multiply and divide and add and subtract. So we're going to take a shortcut. We can actually get rid of the fractions. We can clear the fractions by multiplying by the least common denominator. And as we do, we're going to be sure we multiply each term by this LCD on both sides of the equation. So for example, when we look at the problem 3 fourths x minus 1 half equals 5 sixths, and we begin to balance on the equals, we might say, gee, I really don't like having those fractions. We can get rid of them by identifying that the least common denominator of 4, 2, and 6 is 12. So we can multiply each term on both sides by 12. As we do, that's going to allow us to reduce to get rid of the fractions. We can reduce the 12 and the 4. 12 over 4 is 3. So now we're multiplying 3 times 3x, which is 9x. In the second fraction, 12 over 2 reduces to 6, and so we're subtracting 6 times 1 which is 6, equals, on the other side, we've got 12 over 6, which reduces to 2. So on the right side, we've got 2 times 5, which is 10. And when we multiply each term by the LCD on both sides, we get an equation with no fractions. This should be easy to solve. We know we get rid of the minus 6 by adding 6 to both sides, so we get 9x equals 16. And finally, that 9 times x, we can get rid of the 9 by dividing both sides by 9, and we get x is equal to the fraction 16 ninths. That variable x in the problem is representing the number 16 ninths. Let's look at another example. In the second example, we've got several fractions, and we've got something that's not a fraction, the negative 4. I often just put it over 1 because it really is a fraction. And then we can identify the least common denominator to clear the fractions. We've got denominators of 5, 10, 1, and 15. Those all evenly go into the number 30. We can do 30 divided by 5, 30 divided by 10, 30 divided by 15. The least common denominator is 30, so we're going to multiply each term on both sides by the 30. Notice that includes the negative 4, every term. And so when we reduce 30 over 5, it becomes 6 times 3x, which is 18x, minus 30 over 10 is 3, times 7, which is 21, equals, no reducing here, 30 times negative 4 is negative 120, plus 30 over 15 is 2, times 7 is 14. x. Don't lose the variable. Well, I now have the variable on both sides of the equation, so let's get it on one side. Subtract 14x. Moving the smaller one, technically it doesn't matter which one we move. 18x minus 14x is 4x, and we still have minus 21 equals negative 120. Working to get the x by itself, we can add the 21 to both sides. We end up with 4x is equal to negative 99. And finally, to get the x alone, we divide both sides by 4, and x is equal to the fraction negative 99 fourths.
This is the value that is represented by the variables in the equation, negative 99 fourths. So if there's fractions in the problem, we can get rid of the fractions by multiplying each term on both sides by the least common denominator.